Welcome in people of the New England New York Blue Rapids. Uh, I see him get funnier every single week. It's my pleasure to welcome up on stage, if I get this damn microphone back in the stand, <laughs> Mr. Brandon Goof, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for him. Yeah. Woo, thanks, Omar. And it's awesome, because like I'm the only other guy other than him that has a job that's here tonight, so that's fucking <laughs> awesome. Yeah, fucking right I do, you know, that means, just means everybody else, instead of, like, asking me for drinks, they're gonna start asking your ass for drinks, so it's fucking awesome. So, yeah, the greatest thing about having a job is I got a tax rebate, right? Funny, Coon Rapids, you fuckers have never heard of a tax rebate. Mm, ouch. No, but as a comic, I got a tax rebate, so I decided that I'm gonna go look and buy a house. Something about being depressed and, you know, 25 and living in your parents' basement, so... I'm sitting there, I'm looking at the house in uh, St. Francis of all places. You guys know what St. Francis is? Meth capital of the world! There we go, the meth capital of Minnesota. Fuck, meth capital of everything. It's fucking the greatest place better than Mexico. So, <laughs> that's right, laugh fuckers. So, I'm sitting there looking at this house and they're like, oh, this is a great place, you know, perfect neighborhood for raising a family. So we walk into the kitchen, right? And you look at the back of the stove covered in tin foil in black smoke. And the copper pipes missing out from underneath the sink. I'm like, shit, if I lived on welfare and didn't mind beating the shit out of a fucking car, I would be perfect living in this place. It's awesome. So fuck yeah, come on people, laugh assholes. There we go. Alright, so anybody else been through like a really bitter breakup? Woo! I'm talking to the point where you want the fucking person dead, come on! That's how we do it. Now I'm not saying it. Like, I'm not condoning hiring somebody to kill him, but if a certain person ends up dead, somebody's getting a new fucking car, man. And, I, and an awesome witness for the fucking defense. It's like, Your Honor, she was a cunt. She deserved it. <laughs> that was a great one, letter. Awesome. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, awesome. Uh, like as Tobar said, I'm new to the scene. Uh, I grew up with two life goals, people. Two life goals. I know it's hard to count to two because you're from Crappens. So, there we go, awesome. So, one, I wanted to be a comic, which is starting to come true. I'm getting shittier and shittier every week, but as long as I suck Daryl's dick, it's awesome. Woo! He's not even in here for that one, fuck him. And the other one is I wanted to be a father, so yeah, it's awesome. I'm gonna be a dad. Thank you for like the four applause. Now here's the greatest thing is, you know, I'm gonna be a dad, but the problem is I just haven't found out how to tell her yet. <laughs> like, well, I, I got a blind date tomorrow night. It's like it's I don't know what the best you know like icebreaker is. Just like hi, I'm Brandon. We're gonna make a baby tonight. <laughs> Damn. Woo! Awesome. So, as a single guy, that's right. I go from father to single parents. Hold up. As a single guy, you go to the bar. You're there to deliberately pick up pussy. It's the only reason a guy's there for. It's not because you're there to fucking get away from life. You know, you're there to fucking meet women. Any bartender, any person will agree. But here's the thing, guys. When you go home with a fat chick at the end of the night, it is no longer settling. I found an awesome way around it. It is no longer settling. It's called hitting the ATM. Alternatives to masturbation. <laughs> ass is ass, pussy's pussy, and a hand is a fucking hand as long as it's not yours, people. And if you can get them to swallow the first time, fucking marry that bitch. I tell you what. Marry that bitch. Fucking awesome. Woo! So, you know, as having a, holding a job, I don't consider drug use, but I tell you what, I'm fucked up like a mofo tonight, and I have everybody else to thank for that. Like, I figured, you know, like, Daryl and everybody's like, let's get you high. And I'm like, fuck, let's do it, man. If it makes me a better comic, no, it just makes me shittier. So I was like, fuck, I'm just gonna go on stage sober tonight. God damn, fuck damn. you people. I'm using class A material on you shitheads. So, alright, I was, I was, uh, I, I got home from the bar the other night. I was kind of bored, and when you get home, you know, you don't really know what to do late at night, so you turn on the TV, you start flipping through channels. Well, I don't jerk off, but you probably do, because you don't feel like waking up your daughter, so. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it's alright, because uh, I'm going to get my ass with my grind later, so it's awesome. But, uh, so I'm flipping through channels, and on Skinamax, I see something called World Finals of Pole Dancing. Ha! Right? I'm like, what the fuck is this? There's no way this thing is real. So I flip it on. No shit, there's an actual competition for crowning the world's greatest stripper. 
Now here's the funniest thing about it. The girls are all proud and dancing and shit while they're on the pole. Instead of coming to the women, why don't they come to fucking fathers? It's like, congratulations, you didn't love your daughter enough. Larry Flint is proud. <laughs> and the sponsors for this fucking thing? It's like, seriously, it's like... You know, they got like, you know, Trojan, KY, Bacardi. One of them is shit that really matters, like fucking Paxil, like Ritalin, or fucking Valtrex. Man, appeal to your fucking audience, people. All right, Tobar just gave me the sign. I got one more. This is going to be awesome. So, speaking of strippers, anybody heard of Lady Gaga? I know you fuckers listen to KDWB every day, except for when you come to the bar, you're like, I'm a 93X fan. So... Lady Gaga, what the fuck is with this woman, dude? She looks like she shops at Cher and NASA's yard sale. The bitch walks up, she's like, it's a garter belt, a thong, an astronaut helmet, moon boots, it's an outfit! It's like, fuck! And now here's the funny thing, I read, it, I read it in a magazine that she doesn't talk about her personal life because she wants to keep it quiet. Well, you know, because she's always like, I, this is for the gays and this is for that. Well, it's understandable because it's like going to bed with Heidi Klum and waking up next to Daryl Horner. Oh! <laughs> Finally, fucking answers! I've been burning out of the whole six minutes I was up here. So I'm brand new official coming out to come grab some out here. Woo! Oh, one more thing. Vote T-Hole. Vote T-Hole. Brand new, everybody. Love you. Woo! Woo!